What up, players? It's Warboss Tail in this mud. Welcome to a Warboss Tail unboxing and product review. We've got a Forge World Terminator Lord Zufor. Zufor here. And um, boy, oh boy, am I excited to unbox this fella. It's uh, like most of my recent purchases, I got him off of eBay because the one time I tried ordering him off of Forge World, um, yeah, they wouldn't take my card. They don't think it's me. Anyways, uh, enough about that. Let's take a look at the pieces. I'll show them to you individually, then I'm gonna put them in a tub and wash them and then um, build them up for you. So here you've got the legs. Now this is a character for the world eaters once they went all corn crazy. So you're gonna see a lot of corn symbols all over the place. Um, they, these legs remind me a lot of the Warhammer 40,000 plastic Terminator legs, but they also have these cool pieces that are reminiscent of uh, cataphracty terminators, these like leather strips down the front. We'll take a look at all the big pieces first. You've got a cape here that he wears on his back. Could be cool to do as like skin, maybe. Although that's so cliche. I don't know what this one piece is here. Hopefully it's just flash. We've got some skulls on chains, of course. Need those. Don't leave home without your skulls. You've got the bottom half of the axe that he holds. Terminator trophy rack that he wears on, oh, that's where this goes. Goes on the back over there like that. Shipping. Uh, you've got, like I said, his trophy rack that goes on the back of his Terminator armor. He's a Terminator Lord, so he's got some, some big bulky beefy armor. Uh, and here it is. The cool thing about it is that the way it's sculpted, Forge World, oh, fantastic job. They are able to make these skulls look like they're hanging off the front of it and project out from the front so it doesn't create like a flat profile. You've got the skulls coming out at these crazy angles and the skulls look like skulls. They don't look like fine cast rubbish. Uh, you've got the symbol of corn here at the top. Other than that, oh, world eaters like the jaws. And you've got this little hole. You might be wondering what this hole is for. It's for this. He's got like a little trophy on his back that is actually the skeleton of a commissar with a bolt round through the head. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever seen? <laughs> no. I think it's funny. You also get his shoulder pads here. Uh, one is the symbol of corn, the other is the world eaters. And you've got skulls, skulls, skulls. And the hooks, it's like half a skull and a hook. More skulls, awesome. And his weapons, he's got like a combination power fist over here with of course skulls and chains and it's got like storm bolter or like a double bolter. But look at the uh, look at the detail. You can see the hammers raised. You can see the ejection chamber for the the bolt rounds. The barrels have been drilled, and right under the drilled barrels is the the chain. Just the the detail is really really great. The top of the axe that he holds looks like a, a demon screaming, "Yeah, blood for the blood god!" And his uh, hand that holds it. All right, so I don't see any like miscasts. I see a lot of flash, but I don't see any miscasts. So I'm gonna clean these pieces up, throw them in a tub, and let them soak in warm water for a little while. And then I'll glue them together, build them up, and show you what it looks like when it's done. I forgot to show you the coolest part, the heads. You've got two heads that you can use. Either his unhelmeted screaming one, my brain hurts, or this one here with the um, helmet, but it looks like it's screaming anywhere. Oh, my head hurts. And um, corn symbol on the top. This would actually be really cool if Forge World sold it by itself without the corn symbol, or maybe you could shave it off to use as a Night Lord's Terminator helmet. Just look at that. It's so cool. All right, here we go. All right, it's a couple hours later, but we have built and um, secured our Lord Jufor here. Man, he looks so awesome. So, the uh, things that I didn't really care for was that the thing, the thing that I most did not care for was that he's got his 
legion symbol, the world eaters, the jaws of the world, crushing a little innocent planet there on his shoulder pad and also here on his right leg. And I didn't really care for that because I like symmetry. I would have preferred if the legion thing was on his left, but you know what? I saw a good example of one painter online who painted this all in like gold and brass and, and then did the, the red with the green planet down here. So I'm gonna try doing that. Here's his double-handed chain axe with the little exhaust port and everything. That's so awesome. And here's his power fist with the combi bolter attached and chains and skulls and stuff wrapped around it. Beautiful model. And yeah, there at the top you see his um, trophy, the body of a long dead commissar. Commissar Ma! <laughs> commissar Vane does not care for that. And uh, that's it. What a beautiful looking model. It's just packed to the gills with detail. Um, one thing if you are buying this and you're going to try assembling it, putting it together, I didn't notice this until I went to Forge World's website and I realized I had no idea how to do it, but this cape has to actually go on under the shoulder pads. So after you attach the arms, before you attach the shoulder pads, attach the cape. And also be careful with your trophy racks because they get very close to the Commissar's corpse up there, which there's a little hole for it so it has to go in there. Just means that the uh, these trophy racks are a little bit, a little bit wonky, they kind of stick out in the back and uh, there's not really anything you can do about that. So yeah, I don't think there really is unless you just glue it closer to the front. Maybe I'm not doing it right, but um, I, I just love this model. I love, I love how big and beefy and just super awesome it is. I can't wait to paint them up. Hope you guys like this little unboxing of the Chaos Terminator Lord Jufor and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Latest players!